Hey guys, Youngblood with you to summarize the ATV from June 22nd, 2017 with the effort to cut it down and just give you the little bits of information that you want to know that include current and future developments. Now there was a section in this week's video about the GN Knox, which is the race bike. Uh, but since I've already done the should you buy video that includes the relevant information from that portion of this video, we're going to go ahead and skip it in the interest of time. Now in the world of level design, um, they've continued to make progress on surface outpost, which includes adding different hangar and garage locations to places like Levski to where you can actually pull different um, air and ground vehicles. And they're also finishing up some work on the rooms that you're going to be spending more time in, like the customs office, to be able to get in and out and to kind of limit some of the smuggling that's going to be taking place. Now once completed, um, they're going to move on to other popular coming locations in the Stanton system, like landing zones at Area 18, Lorville, Orison, and New Babbage. Uh, the AI team is currently developing buddy AI technology that makes the NPCs assign themselves and kind of follow a leader, which is an important step to hiring help and how they're going to end up working with you in the future. Uh, the behaviors of AI are also being addressed to specifically focus on their reactions to when an event happens and when they see or hear something. Um, that's going to include like uh, turning, getting ready, looking startled when they hear things like an explosion or a gunshot or things like that. Uh, the visual effects team did some work on planet surfaces, adding in better effects to increase immersion, like leaving footprints behind in sand and snow, um, leaving tire treads behind, and weapon impacts and craters. Uh, lighting is currently finishing up all of the lighting on the surface outpost and adding in different values to the various fixtures that you're going to end up having in these locations, and that includes continuing to build out their library of assets so they can pull from those when needed when they're developing new locations. Uh, the tech art team has been busy with adding new, uh, working on the new Custodian Energy SMG, uh, as well as working on the universal rail system for FPS weapons, which is going to allow you to equip various uh, sights and grips on pretty much any weapon. And the holographic sight that they showed had really impressive um, fidelity to the model. Uh, additionally, we see that the Klaus and Werner, or Werner uh, laser machine gun is getting its uh, first block out, and the Preacher Arms distortion weapon in sizes 4 through 6 is finishing up. And by the way, a distortion weapon in size 4 through 6 sounds crazy, but awesome on a ship like the new Cutlass, even though I think it's mostly size uh, 3s. But really, anything that you want to be able to kind of toss distortion out of, a size 4 through 6 should do a pretty good job at disabling other ships. Um, and then you also get uh, more initial blockouts for ship weapons, like the laser repeaters, sizes 1 through uh, 3, the neutron repeater, which is going to be size 1 through 3 and also sounds nasty, uh, and the ballistic scatter gun, sizes 1 through 3, and those are all on ships. Uh, with the environment group, they've improved the ground materials that are being used and scattered about on all three moons and are finishing up the landing pads that you're going to have available at some of the surface outposts. Uh, Delamar is moving along very nicely and looks to be one of the cooler locations that we're going to be able to check out. Um, and it looks pretty good to be in 3.0, at least, uh, you know, pretty soon. Um, but they're basically finishing up the final passes on geometry and materials and effects, with Levski getting the previous updates that I've already mentioned, as well as the elevators working and customized. Uh, the new holographic tech that I mentioned last week is continuing to progress, which is going to allow you to see like things like mission briefs on your HUD um, without things like pre-recorded cutscenes. And it's really the base technology um, for ship-to-ship -ship comms calls. Um, that It's going to be built off of that. So that's your short version of what was covered. Um, hopefully you found that helpful. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day. Take care.